Hello and very warm welcome my friends this is Marta from Drop of Sunshine and in today's video I do have a recording which was part of my live classes I'm currently having on the Facebook. Uh, this classes, uh, this particular classes I was actually running in the Polish language so rather than upload the uh, video recording I've decided to edit it a little bit and present you uh, with the English voiceover. So my friends, I am starting from using some pieces of the um, beer mat. This is this is a kind of a cardboard. It's compressed. It's uh, quite sturdy, but at the same time, it's quite lightweight. What I'm having here, I do have a three squares, which I've cut into the eight by eight inches size or 20 by 20 centimeters. And now I am taking one of the square dice uh, which I'm just going to use as an example to help me out to uh, create those frame. And I'm just taking my pencil and I'm just marking a dot um, and I will join them uh, with my pencil using a ruler to create this uh, square. Uh, what I'm going to be doing, I will take my exacto knife and try to cut them out. And this is very easy. You can do it uh, with the cardboard beer mat, or if you don't have any things like that, you can always take two or three pieces of the very sturdy cardstock and join them together. If you have those large dice like I do, you can cut them up front and then glue those pages together so you will have this sturdy frame and you won't have to worry about uh, cutting the uh, aperture after you glue the pages. So I'm just checking if everything is equal and once I'm more or less happy, this this really doesn't have to be super, uh, you know, uh, equal. You will cover it up with the paper later on. So any imperfections, they will be hid by the design paper. So I'm grabbing my ruler and I'm just putting it uh, straight on the line and I'm using my exacto. A knife to cut around it. If you don't have those uh, tools, like if you don't have the exacto knife, you can just poke a hole and use your scissors. The beer mat or cardboard is quite easy to, to cut through, so you will be able to do it uh, as well. Uh, now, your frame, your aperture doesn't necessarily have to be square. You can use um, rectangular pieces of the cardboard or even in the oval shape, you will be still able to uh, use the idea. Uh, so here I am proceeding with my second frame and in overall we need three pieces but only two of them uh, cut it with this uh, aperture inside. And the reason behind that why I like to use X-Acto knife is simple. I can just save those two uh, pieces I cut off from the inside and use them for another project. And this way I am able to save up on the material. Now here, all in perfection, my, uh, my little scalpel, this X-Acto knife is actually quite old and it's not as super sharp as it was at the beginning. So any imperfection or uh, rough edges, I'm just quickly going over with my scissors and just clean it up. Uh, so I could have this nice frame. So here you can see I do have those three uh, frames and now you could have a we check how this project will look like. I'm planning to create the stunning um, kind of a, a card with the um, with the hanging photo photography or any other like uh, that could be wishes or like a, for a wedding um, husband and wife sentiment or something like that so uh, because I want my uh, frame to fold down uh, the best idea whenever you're creating this kind of folding uh, frame is to have a little gap between them and for me the best results I get if I have the gap which is equal of two uh, uh, two times the thickness of my frame. So as you could see, I've just put two of those uh, extra additional squares inside. And once I was happy with the placement, I used the strips of the masking tape to hold my frames together on the top on and on the bottom. Uh, 
Here I use the piece of the design paper and this design paper is actually uh, one of my own creation. This comes from the Drop of Sunshine uh, box number one, uh, which is uh, everything in the set is designed by myself and I really, really like the, the papers here. So I've decided to use it and I've cut myself uh, two strips which are matching the width of the uh, frames and what I did, I use a piece of the duct tape and I, whenever I have to create some hinges or this kind of a support for, for the elements, which I know they will be fold back and forth, I like to use some uh, sort of the duct tape inside because this way I know that it will prevent paper from tearing. Uh, so uh, this is just any type of, of the duct tape or or you can even use the masking tape yeah, and it will work well too. So I've put the duct tape on the inside part and now I'm using the red tape which is a very strong adhesive tape. It's much stronger than the regular uh, tape and a drop of the glue and I am gluing it uh, on top of the of my frame so this way as you can see i have uh, the parts of the frame joined together and the only mistake i did i forgot that the a4 size card is 21 centimeters uh, so i had to trim that one centimeter away and now i'm gonna join the third part uh, which i'm doing the um, cut off frame is in the middle so uh, just to not make you a uh, mistake uh, you have to place your uh, full square on the one of the sides either left or right but not not in the middle and uh, once again i've measured myself this uh, gap in between the layers and i'm having another strip of the paper which i've strengthened up with the duct tape i am cutting off the excess of the tape because my tape is a little bit wider than the strips of the paper i've used and once i have it ready and prepped this way i'm gonna use my scoring uh, tool to score uh, the line in the center of the of the strip so uh, it will be just easier to fold it that way and it's not going to be crease uh, the ugly way, uh, if you know what I mean. Now I am adding this red tape to the uh, duct tape side and a drop of the liquid glue. And once I'm placing my uh, strip uh, on top of it, I'm trying to place it this way so the scoring line will go exactly in the gap uh, between those uh, beer mats. And now once I have it glued down, I can simply check if all my construction is nicely standing out. And the next step will be to dress it up with the papers. I'm gonna reach for the same uh, design paper and now I will gonna, I, I am gonna cut myself a square which will match the base. And for from the remaining pieces, I will cut the four frames uh, because for the card construction like that, you really need to dress it up from both ways uh, because the inside part will be also visible uh, when your construction will be standing. So for the bottom, a simple square, uh, 20 by 20 centimeters or 8 by 8 inches and for the other squares i just quickly measure uh, myself line with the pencils and i'm gonna cut four pages uh, from the, the same same design paper but you could use the different one for the outside and inside whatever you like uh, whatever pattern uh, design paper you like you can uh, create out of it or if you want to have the same design paper uh, the great idea will be to use the uh, printable design because this way if you have some digital papers you can print yourself as many copy as you like and for that of course uh, uh, if you will go down below in the description area, there is a link to my buy me a coffee page where you can find some uh, downloadable designs and this way uh, you may print yourself several copies which will uh, be enough for you if you would like to have all your 
work uh, complete with the same style like I do here. Uh, so for that project, I've used five pages of the same design paper. So I'm cutting myself four squares and here is a little chit chat I had on my live classes. Obviously the live classes were a little bit longer but it is much different when you read the comments, answer the question. We have all some fun chit chat. Uh, so that's why I've decided to shorten it up because if I would have to uh, go over the video in the normal like paste I did, it was uh, one hour long, then I would bore you to death with all the uh, chatting by myself. Uh, but I will have a live classes on the last Sunday of this month uh, and they will be performed in English. So I warmly invite you if you would like to join me there, uh, we can create something uh, together. I'm going to have a nice idea for the mixed media project. It's going to be a actually a canva art but we're gonna be using our everyday card making supplies so if you're not uh, into my if you're not uh, much into the uh, mixed media or you're a beginner you love a uh, mixed media project as well but you don't have many supplies or you feel like uh, not comfortable uh, with all the mixed mediums and uh, you only have the card making gear definitely join me we're gonna create something nice and here i cut those four frames i've used the same um square dice this is a, a creative dice uh, from the craft stash i will give you link down below if you would like to see them and uh, i've just uh, they've just helped me out to cut those frame very quickly and here i only do a little bit chop uh, of that beer mat a little bit extra because uh, i didn't measure it properly uh, but this is sometimes happen when you're on live classes you've get distracted with uh, looking up to the comments so very often i've noticed that i'm creating something off home when i have my own piece and i'm just like just me and the project i do everything off the hand perfectly from the first time but whenever i'm just trying to do the same work on the on the classes i always like I either mess up with measurements or something but easy fix here you can see how easily you can cut uh, this beer mat or cardboard with your scissors so it's just take me a little bit extra second and it's always worth to have this cut a little bit more uh, than than your paper because you don't want a beer mat to uh, stick out from from underneath the paper and this way it will be hide a uh, nice way uh, so i'm using the collal glue but any liquid glue will be fine just to uh, just to uh, glue it down to the frame and my cart will be uh, quickly ready and then we're gonna be working on this uh, central piece which i will show you how you can actually uh, incorporated to your uh, standing card frame and once my uh, card is covered from uh, all sides then i am just uh, standing it straight and uh, you can see the top between those frames uh, in this um, little gap i've measured myself the central part and what i'm gonna be doing now i will be working on the central piece which will be hanging out from the top and for that i want my piece to be circular but i want it to look uh, more fancier so i've uh, choose the die which is um, a circle but it has this nice like little wavy uh, pattern around uh, with some embossed dots so i thought it will be looking perfect and this is the piece you can um, as i've told you at the beginning you can use this area to stick down a photo this could be a congratulations welcome baby card on this uh, square frame or if you make it rectangular you could put all the information like uh, the day of birth or something or the name of the baby and then put the photo or this could be for a wedding anniversary you can use the wedding photo whatever occasion it is this is a great perf a uh, great project because you can pack it uh, into the little like a greeting box 
or you can create the envelope but it, it will have to be a little bit box one uh, with the uh, at least like a half an inch dependingly how you dress up your project because uh, the the most dimension will come from uh, the flowers if you're gonna add some farmyland flowers or anything to dress up so here i've cut two circles i've used the red tape to uh, stick this uh, piece of the uh, nylon cord uh, in between them so I have this hanging loop and now I am threading it into this little hole which I punch on the top of my of my uh, frames and I'm gonna use two little half pearls as a stopper so this way once I uh, put my frame it will all stand nicely together and now once I have it standing I can adjust the length of my of my little piece hanging out so uh, that's why i've just put the loop i wasn't uh, adding any knot uh, once i uh, once i'm sure what length i want it to be you just have to check visually how it looks uh, most appealing to you and once i was happy i've just tie a knot and i use a dot of the hot glue to uh, to glue it down and then i cut off the rest now i'm taking this uh, white to inches uh, this white uh, two inches white uh, satin ribbon and i'm gonna be creating a little bow uh, for my bows i like to use a piece of the uh, wire to help me just to uh, create the bow and once i once i was happy with it i've just used the same hot glue to glue it on the top uh, so this way i have this nice cover up for this uh, knot from this string uh, which was which was hanging out from my frame and this was the live classes we were already uh, one hour long so i didn't bother by properly dressing up the whole frame this is just a concept i wanted to show you and at the end i will show you because i used this frame for the christmas creation so i will show you the close-up photo for, for from the finished project so this way you could see uh, the potential and here this is my another idea if you're going to be using it for a wedding or any other occasion when like baby christening you may also turn it into the a little like a mini album uh, so this way you will need another square cover and you're just gonna put this harmonica uh, uh, album in between and one more thing at the end of my classes i have in front of me this is a a4 size sheet filled with the sentiments this is a free gift for anyone who were participating in my classes and these are the sentiment which are meant for a, a grandma and grandfather day which we celebrate in poland over 21st and 22nd of the january uh, i do have a free download of them on my buy me a coffee page and i also have the english version where you can find some sentiments as i i love you grandma i love you grandpa and all those things to create a nice lovely cards for your grandparents i hope you enjoy uh, this video and if you do please don't forget to give it a like uh, to comment just say anything even hi or where you were watching from or uh, what's your favorite sentiment what type of a cards you are like uh, to do uh, this is always a great help for uh, any creator if you are interacting with them this is a signal for the youtube algorithm to show our uh, videos to another crafty friends which may like it as well so thank you so much here is this project i was telling you about and this card it fixed to the uh, regular greeting box which is one inch high and uh, here you can see how the mechanism is work once you stand it and pull it behind those pearls it just stands on its own and i actually dress it up for the christmas but you can use it for any other wedding christening all sorts of the idea you can even put like a 3d um, ornament here as well uh, but this way you will have to change the box because it's not going to be fit that narrow box i have here so once again thank you so very much for your support uh, for being for watching uh, i warmly invite you to my youtube uh, live classes on the last sunday of the month and thank you have a wonderful day stay blessed and bye bye